Hi guys, welcome back to Refreshing Motherhood. I am so excited to share this super fun collab video with you guys. Brittany from Bits of Paradise asked a bunch of YouTube mamas to get together and do some DIY hacks for Halloween and fall decor for you inspired by Pottery Barn. Pottery Barn has such beautiful fall and Halloween decor items, but they're super expensive. And to be perfectly honest, with our family living on a budget, we just can't afford it. So I loved her idea for this collab of ways to DIY these fall decor items and save a ton of money in the process. So if you're new to my channel and you're from one of these amazing other mamas, welcome. Thank you so much for checking my video out. I hope that you enjoy it. My name is Taylor. My husband and I vlog over at Cooley & Co, but here on Refreshing Motherhood, you're gonna find videos all about being real, raw, and relevant. That's kind of my motto here being honest and sharing my heart with you about all things motherhood. And speaking of being honest, I am getting sick right now. My throat is killing me. My voice is a little bit scratchy, but that is not gonna stop me from the excitement that is this DIY video. So if you guys like my DIY for you, I know you're going to love all the other awesome mamas and their DIY videos. So I will have every single person linked down below in the description. Go check them out and you can have your house full of Pottery Barn inspired projects that you can make on a budget. So I am tackling the watercolor pumpkin table runner today. And this one seems a little bit intimidating and you can, might think I'm not an artist like your shirt says, but even if you're not an artist, you can totally do this and you can do it really affordably and really easy and have fun in the process. This is something that I want you to let loose, be creative and involve your kids. If you can involve your family, you could totally do this as a family project. So I'm going to show you step by step how to create this runner. I'm going to give you a couple different options depending on what style you're looking for. So here's what's going on. The table runner from Pottery Barn is absolutely beautiful. It is full of fall colors. And um, what I love about it is that it's not super detail rich, it's a little bit looser in the artwork and in the painting of the pumpkins. And that's why it's going to, going to be easy for you to DIY it yourself. You don't have to be really particular. You don't have to be an artist. You just put whatever style or twist you want on it. The backing of this runner is like a muslin type of fabric material. So it's super cheap and easy to find. It's not a fancy material. So what I did is on a grocery shopping trip to Walmart, I went ahead and picked out the least expensive muslin backing almost type of fabric that I could find in that kind of creamy off-white tanny color. The one thing that I will say is sometimes these fabrics can have threads that are a little bit wider, more spread apart, similar to a burlap. You wanna find ones that are a little bit tighter, closer together, and that will be easier to paint on. So I found mine for $1.97 a yard. So go ahead and measure the length of your table and you can decide how many yards you need. I purchased three. So all in all, the fabric only cost me $5.91. Are you ready to hear how much Pottery Barns cost? $89 plus tax. $89 for a table runner. I don't know about you, but I just can't afford that. So I love that I was able to get the fabric for less than $6. So I already have acrylic paint at home if you don't have some i will link a acrylic paint option down below for you to purchase um, the only thing is that you don't want to purchase a actual watercolor paint and you don't want to purchase a tempera paint those paints will wash off if you ever need to wash a runner acrylic will not so stick with acrylic and we're going to water it down and create a watercolor type of paint from the acrylic okay so that might seem a little bit overwhelming but hang in there with me I promise it's gonna be easy and simple for you. So what you're gonna to need to get started is your acrylic paint, a cup for water, brushes, a pencil, your fabric, something to protect whatever surface you're working on like a trash bag or cardboard, scissors, some hemming tape, as well as an iron and an ironing board. So the first step here is just to go ahead and cut your runner into two pieces. Mine was actually folded over my piece of fabric and I don't need the full width of the fabric so I'm just going to cut it in two. And a little tip here, you could use the second piece as a secondary runner for Christmas or another holiday. So the first option you can do is fray the edge of your fabric by just pulling on the threads or you can choose to hem it either by sewing or if you'd rather not sew, you can do a heat to bond hemming tape which is what I'm doing here. I'm just following the instructions ironing the hem and then placing the tape inside that fold and then I'm going to iron 
again on the top to seal it. This is super easy, super simple if you rather not fuss with the sewing machine or if you maybe don't have one. So this is totally personal preference. This option is a little bit cleaner as opposed to the frayed option which is a little bit more rustic. You can see the two options here, the hem as well as the frayed. I'm gonna be working with the hem today because that's the closest to the Pottery Barn option. And I'm gonna start by sketching out the designs from the center of my table runner and then working out to the edges because the center is what you're going to see the most. So I'm gonna sketch on pumpkins and gourds and leaves and I'm looking at the Pottery Barn Table Runner for inspiration, but you can also look at pumpkins or any type of fall decor that you personally like or are personally drawn to. And feel free to be creative here. The next step is your paint. So get your acrylic paint out. You can start mixing colors to kind of create a couple more options for you. And then what you're gonna do is start by placing the color, the most concentrated color, where the shadow would naturally be on the object. So I'm gonna start on an edge here and then use my water to blend the paint out. So you're creating a little bit of a softer effect, creating kind of a gradient, so to speak, with your paint. And then just go ahead and add in the darkest, most rich color right on those edges. I'm also gonna do that for the pumpkins on every single ridge of the pumpkins. You can see here that I'm adding the darkest color on the ridges where the shadow would naturally be. I'm gonna paint leaves and do kind of edges and things like that in the darkest color and then use the water to blend it out. Then the final step is I'm gonna take my dark color and just kind of create a little bit of detail, extra shadow into the pumpkins, extra little bit of detail, and be loose here, be creative here, add vines, add berries, whatever you feel like you personally like, and feel free to get your kids involved. I never loved watching me here, it was so much fun. And you're just gonna continue to paint all the way across the runner, and I started at the end, and I'm working my way all the way down. So once your runner is completed, you want it to dry overnight, so that it is completely dry to the touch. Now, you'll notice that because we used water, it might seem a bit wrinkly, and that's fine. What you're gonna do is just iron it, starting from the back. If you feel like it's still pretty wrinkly, you can iron it on the front after, but you wanna get the bulk of your ironing done on the back so that you don't disturb the paint that you did on the front. So go ahead and iron all of those seams and then lay it out on your table and you are done. This was so much fun to create and what I love about this is that you can decorate your table with pumpkins and fresh flowers and play settings and really make a beautiful fall tablescape for the holidays, for Thanksgiving. If you're hosting anything, this is a great piece to have. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed this DIY. It was super affordable, so much fun to make and it looks really beautiful. So for the hemmed version, this cost me $7.88 in comparison to Pottery Barn's $89 version. Under $10 for this entire project. It is, for me, under $6. If I don't hem, I have the paint already. All I needed to do was buy the fabric. Under $6 and you can create a table runner. A $89 runner turned into a $6 DIY. I would say that is an awesome deal. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you're new to my channel. I would love to have you here and let me know in the comments below who sent you here. And if you try this DIY hack out, please tag me on Instagram or Twitter at Refreshing Motherhood or hashtag Refreshing Motherhood. I would love to see your recreations of this DIY. And remember to check out all of the other mamas in the description down below and all of their DIYs. I am so excited to have a house full of fall decor on a budget. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. You guys, fall is here, the weather is getting warmer, and that means it is officially the season for soups. And today I am so excited to share with you my super easy, 100% homemade, from scratch chicken noodle soup.